Hello, beautiful. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> I can't say. Okay, fine. You look gorgeous. We're about to hang out and watch some Bleach Fails. It's your favorite thing, and it's my favorite thing. There's only one girl we're watching today, and it's a three-part series. I haven't reacted to one single girl in a video in a long time, and whenever I do, they are really good. And this girl, I've heard, goes on a journey. This is going to be intense. And make sure to stay to the end of the video for this week's hair shout out. It may be you. And like, and subscribe, and be here every single Sunday of your life. Because I will be here. Maybe not every Sunday, but I will be here most Sundays. Let's watch the videos. Oh my god, the dog is so cute. They're the most precious things to ever exist. Unless they're being mean. Or barking a lot. Which, you know what? It's their thing. I have my things. We can't all be perfect. <laughs> Let me move to my side so we can look at some videos. Based off of my shirt, what do you think we are doing today? I know. You're gonna bleach the Fucking out of your hair. And will it fall off? Potentially. Will there be tons and tons and tons of damage? Potentially. Will it be scary? Potentially. But probably, most likely. But will it be entertaining? Yes. This is the state of my blue hair. There are some sections that are no longer blue. Okay, sorry. <laughs> There's so much going on already. We are 16 seconds into the video. I am horrified of what I'm seeing. It's not my favorite hair. I'm just gonna come out and say it, and luckily you changed it. By the time you're watching this, I'm not making you feel bad about yourself, so <laughs> whatever. You know, you have blonde roots. I guess you call it blue. It's more like a slate gray mix with a little bit of blue in there. It kind of looks darker on the bottom. Just a lot of pigment going on. Like, it just looks heavy and dark, but not in a good way. And it's very long and very dense, so that's gonna be even more of a struggle to get this looking clean and looking right and looking tight. But we'll see if you can do it. I want blonde hair. Do we think that's possible? I have no idea. My trusty color oops is going to be the first step. I have approximately 17 layers of hair dye on right now. If my calculations are correct, usually they are. Sometimes <laughs> I watch these videos back and I'm like, that what I said right there was just not correct. Sometimes I make mistakes. Believe it or not, Brad Mondo doesn't know everything. And I never thought I did. <laughs> I am always learning. What I was going to say was that color oops, I believe is made for permanent pigment and not semi-permanent color, which I believe that is what her blue hair is. Brad of the future, is that correct? Yes or no? Is color oops only made for permanent color? Okay, well, we got our answer. I can already smell the f ammonia spinach piss smell instructions. I'm so excited. Ammonia spinach piss smell? <laughs> Honestly, very accurate. But wow, that was a creative explanation for how that product smells. And also, I believe I just saw you throw away the instructions. <laughs> Please go get them and read them and follow them. Believe it or not, guys, instructions are actually made to be followed. And when you follow them, it does help the results of your hair color. I only bought one bottle. I had red hair before this. She only got one bottle? Girl, you have 10 pounds of hair. And God, you guys, ugh, please stop applying the color remover over top all of your hair without sectioning. Just because it's not bleached doesn't mean you don't have to section. Everything you apply to your hair should be in sections. Unless it is Brad Mondo's new semi-permanent super gloss intensive glossing treatment colors in color 5G and 5N that you can buy at xmondohair.com, linked below. I had to take the opportunity there. I actually didn't plan that, but it did work. We also have clear, so you blondes out there, first of all, coming soon. Second of all, <laughs> you can use the clear. Got rid of that, bleached it, put on Arctic Fox blue jean baby, which made my hair brown. I was like, no, because I really wanted the dark blue hair. I put on like a dark indigo color. My hair was literally every color under the sun. How did we go from blue hair dye to yellow, orange, green, red, purple? Unfortunately, but fortunately, every color has a secondary tone, if you will. I mean, there's a lot of tones in one color. To make a color, you need to mix multiple things together, unless they are a primary color. Then you will just use one singular tone. But when you're using things like turquoise, or I don't know what she called them, but something that is not a primary color will have undertones. Like say if you're using a blue, but it's a blue green, the green mixed with the blue will affect your color. And then you put another color that's more of a purpley based blue. It creates a whole thing. The more colors you put on your head, the more craziness you're gonna get out of it. If you want to have your hair look horrible, you can follow my instructions. Everyone else do the exact opposite of what I do. Okay, she's applying this color remover to her roots, which is not a good idea because what's gonna happen is color oops is going to lighten her natural hair color. You're gonna want to avoid your natural regrowth when using it something like uh, color oops. That's not gonna be good at all. She's gonna get weird orangey roots and then the ends are gonna be probably like a light blue but orange at the same time. It's gonna be a whole thing that makes no visual sense. When you mess up your hair and you make it look worse, you then have to deal with a worse color correction than what you started with and nobody likes that. Like half of that is dry. Last bit. 
put the shower cap on. This is going to be majorly splotchy. I'm gonna let it sit for 30. Hopefully my hair is brown and beautiful and I don't need to do anything else. It's gonna get rid of the blue, the red, the purple, the orange, the green, the yellow. <laughs> Come here. Come closer. Come closer. Whoa. <laughs> A little bit back. Okay, we're good. That's not how color remover works. So if you had to bleach your hair to get to the blue, the color remover might remove the blue, but then you're left still with the bleach hair. You can't reverse the bleach. Your hair's not brown underneath the bleach. It is just bleached because what bleach does is remove all the pigment from your hair. So the pigment is in the drain into the sewage system. I actually don't know where the pigment goes. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Does it just like disappear? Some kind of chemical reaction just goes <laughs> What? Could be worse. If you ever have like really red or orange hair and don't know how to tone it, the solution is put blue box dye on it for a month and then remove it. Oh no, no. That is exactly what I thought would happen. Except it's a little bit less bad on the ends. I can't see much on the ends. It looks a little bit gray. I don't know what the hell's going on with those ends, honestly. Um, I think step one is to just dry this and then see what we're working with. Okay. It's dry. I missed a spot with the blue. Oh, oh babe. That's not the only spot you missed. I can guarantee. If you turn that head around, oh, there would be a lot of spots. This is what the back looks like. Fatality. I don't know what the back looks like. You don't want to know what the back looks like. I've been looking up what to do. And in like situations like these, like black box dye underneath the rest of your hair so it won't lighten. I think what we're going to do, bleach. <laughs> oh my God, that's horrendous. Okay, so she is trying to go blonde, obviously. So what she needs to do is a lot of shit. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what she needs to do and we're gonna see how badly it goes and how completely not in the direction I wanted her to go in, she goes in. She needs to lighten her mids and ends and her roots, but everything needs to be lightened with a different developer or for different times, or she needs to do it section by section and rinse them out as she goes, or she needs to use foils. Like there's just endless possibilities of how to get to the same end result. Some things are easier, some things are harder. What I recommend for her, I would probably do like 30 volume on her mids and ends, let that process to a nice light blonde, like bright, 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 bright blonde. And then do 20 volume on her roots. Let that process for light blonde. And you should have a decently even result. And then you must tone. We're going to do the bottom half, rinse. The top half, rinse. Oh, that was weird. It's almost like she heard me say that. That was not planned. I promise you. I was not expecting her to say the exact same thing as I did, but I am intrigued. I would like to see how this turns out. Hair is parted and I very quickly realized that we have a nice big band of blue in the middle. This is going to take years off of my life, I think. It's like wet. Make sure when you're doing an open air application, your formula is a little more watery, I'd say, because you can just get on every single hair strand better. That doesn't mean that your hair should like look like it has nothing on it. It should still look very thick. It just makes it easier to comb the lightener through if you decide to do that. I decide to do that a lot on open air applications. Like I will take a comb and gently comb every single section to make every single hair strand covered in that bleach. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Just checking in. Everything's going really well. It doesn't look too good. Pretty. Okay, there is by far, by far not enough lightener on her hair. You don't want it to look like there's just water wetting your hair. You want it to look like there's literally a coating of bleach. That is when you know you put enough. I'm sick of this shit. No, I don't want to go back. Please. No, they don't listen to me. Fine, fine. All right, well, let's do, let's do it. Let's do this again. Nice and dark on the ends, love that. Babe, it's because you basically just applied developer with no powder. I think it could be worse. This is what the back looks like. Um, wow, that was a fail. Literally nothing happened. Got rid of the blue. This is what the bottom looked like and this is what it did to it. We have to do the other half. No, you need to first lighten the bottom of your hair because you haven't successfully done that yet. Maybe a half a shade, but you need like three shades lighter. Like you are not even there yet. Oh my God. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Try being an influencer for a day. You try and be an influencer for a day. Now we do the crown of my head. Ow! My arm is itchy. I'm debating going back in and doing the roots. Okay, another thing today. A lot of, she's giving me a lot of ways to tip you. Like, give you some tips. You're not gonna want to move the hair out from the place it lives when you're bleaching. So you don't want to put it into a bun. It also creates a sense of warmth in the center of the bun, which you don't want. So you gotta make sure the hair is laying where it lives and has a lot of air in between the layers that you bleached or else you're gonna get hot spots. I did the roots. <laughs> Perhaps a poor decision. Very poor decision because your ends are still dark as fuck. 
This is the result. It's dark at the bottom and light at the top. I also cut off like this much of my hair. What did I miss? I texted one person, cut for five seconds. All of a sudden we have a new toner. I don't know what she's applying to her head or what I missed here. Oh, I missed a big part. Hold on. I went and I got this. It should do something like that. I'm so happy to be dyeing my hair again. <sighs> Sorry not to feel good, guys. <laughs> okay, so we have a very dark brown box dye. And that's great if you want to not have good looking hair. Because this has like 25 volume in it, allegedly. You don't need that. Your hair is already light. There are some times where the box dye comes out nicely. Sometimes it's okay. But not in this circumstance. This is going to cause more damage than necessary. And you do not need permanent color. Damn, I would have been fine. Or if you want to use permanent color, you can use a 10 volume with it. So it's very gentle, but it still lasts a long time. Let me get her in there. Hello? Good news, we're like out of dye and only half of my hair is covered. Do you know that you have a lot of hair? Like, please, tell me. One is not enough for you. I literally have this much left. I look insane. So what we also did was apply the box dye to the roots first. You don't ever do that. You guys should be resetting this with me right now. The heat from your scalp is going to lighten your hair faster. And then your ends will lighten. Your roots are probably going to be like an orangey brown and your ends are going to be a dark brown. And it's going to be nice and inky looking and heavy. And it's going to have no depth to it. Because you decided to use box dye that is too strong for your hair. And you didn't fill your hair before you used it. Which if your hair is two, three shades lighter than what you're going for, you need to fill it first. First. This is the final product. This is what it looks like after rinsing. You can obviously still kind of tell that there's different colors under. It looks a lot lighter in person. <sighs> I wonder how long it's going to take me to get to blonde. Oh. <sighs> She's not done because this is part one and it doesn't look great. It looks like a bad box dye job. Sorry. Uh, it just looks a little bit red, which I don't think she wanted. Also, she said she's going blonde and she just box dyed her hair. Oh, we're just getting started. Oh God. And it's also just not even all over, but let's see where we go from here. How can things get any worse? How can they get any worse? They can always get worse. I've learned that from this whole journey on Hair Just Reacts. All right, we have entered part two. <laughs> There's no way things are gonna get better. They're just gonna get worse progressively. Maybe better, but probably worse. Now, it's been a long time since I dyed my hair. A month and a half. I thought she was gonna say like six months. I was like, oh shit. Which honestly for me as well, is a long time to not touch my hair. So good for you. I'm currently dealing with grown out roots. The issue with this though, is that now that you have your natural color, about an inch of your roots, it's going to make this process even harder because now you have about five things to deal with where before you had three, you have the added issue of regrowth as well that now you have to treat differently than the rest of your hair. This is green, this is blue, this is purple. So if we use our noggins, right? And we think of the color wheel, what's opposite though? I couldn't find a toner for orange hair. We've come a long way since video one, where now she knows color theory all of a sudden, but not that well because she's saying she can't find anything that cancels out orange. The answer to your problems is blue. Blue shampoo and conditioner is common. So we're resorting to pigmented conditioners. I get what she's saying. She couldn't find anything demi-permanent in blue. And you can definitely find that. If you want to use a demi-permanent color instead of semi, which is what X model color is, you can. And they have blue pigments. They are literally just blue. And will it help this situation? Probably if it's dark enough. But I'm very shocked you couldn't find that because that is also a very common thing. I recently heard of a term called a bleach bath and that sounds quite nice for my hair no 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 don't do not do a bleach bath no we want double developer secret ingredient shampoo and now we're gonna mix this this monstrosity okay ow also no if you're not just trying to remove like a pastel pink off of your blonde hair usually a bleach bath is not gonna be enough bleach bath is when you just need to take off the little little tiny of those color molecules off the top of the hair in a very quick short amount of time. This needs an entire bleach job. You need to go in there with the hard stuff. You need 30 volume on that whole head. You need foils on that sh You need to go in and go hard. Your hair also needs to be damp when you do this. It's a bleach wash on damp hair. If you look up one video, you should know this. Well, that was easy and less painful than it normally is. This is less tragic than my previous attempts bleaching my hair. I mean, I don't know what she's... Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be dead? What happened? Hello? I literally went to your funeral last week. Every single week it gets weirder. This is triggering and weird. Are you even alive? Oh, she's very much alive. Oh, she lost her voice. Thank God. <laughs> well, welcome back, weirdo. Uh, you wanna watch some videos with me?
You can sit there for one second. What's she doing? You don't want to know what she's doing. It's bad. This is the fastest that I've ever had my hair. I don't see the color like lifting on this side. And you're not gonna because you need something way stronger than this. Perfect. Bottom half complete. This is the worst day of my life. I honestly just feel bad because she just keeps coloring and keeps buying more color and keeps doing the absolute wrong thing and keeps on going and going and spending hours and hours and hours and hours of time doing this. And the results are just not gonna be there. They're gonna be bad. I do believe I've covered my whole head. How's that look? And we did it again. And we'll do it again. And we'll just keep putting bleach on our roots over and over again. And right on top of the regrowth, right on top of the, the banding, right on top of the mids and ends that are all different colors, everything is just gonna get the same treatment. Somehow it's all gonna end up the same, right? Mm -hmm. Wrong! If you made it this far in the video, well, that's because you love me. And if you love me, give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed, please, I'm desperate. I want that 10 million. I want another achievement in life. I'm hungry for it. Get me 10 million. Please. I don't think it's gonna get any lighter. I really like how it's dark on the bottom and light at the top. I really like that. That makes one of us. I couldn't think of anything worse that could be happening right now than what is happening on her head. It's definitely yellow. There's some pink back. Looks like this. Fatality. It's really quite scary. It's really quite horrifying. It appears that we need more bleach. This isn't gonna do. We're gonna try again. I brushed it and it got significantly worse. I'll be fine. <laughs> Very purple. <laughs> now we're putting purple in the mixture. <laughs> and we're only on part two. I'm getting like antsy. Purple shampoo in your bleach formula doesn't do anything because the purple will be eaten up by the bleach. Bleach literally eats away at pigment. So purple shampoo does nothing. It might disguise the look of what's going on with the bleach underneath the purple shampoo, which will also create more problems. But if that was a thing in the salon, we would be doing it all the time. Promise, it doesn't work. Also, if you're doing a bleach wash, just put it onto your damp hair and rub it around and lather it up. It's not gonna come out good anyways, but you might as well just like not do a million sections. Would I do sections if I were doing a bleach bath? Yes. But with you, it's not gonna come out great anyways. So just get it on there. Sorry if my energy just goes meow. I've been sitting here for an hour and we are just going back and forth and back and forth. And my brain hurts from watching this. Like we are just doing all sorts of crazy shit. And that is why this is getting a dedicated video. But I'm losing energy. We'll just put the bleach on the tangled hair. That'll certainly work. Have my favorite time, roots. We're still doing the roots with the mids and ends, even though we keep seeing over and over again, that not working. What am I missing? Let's f go. We're not gonna be f sad anymore. Nope. Is there any spots I missed? Probably. I'm literally just slathering it. Okay, I'm gonna let this merit. I mean, that's blonde. So I would say that the journey to blonde, we're getting there. You could have been there two months ago with just a few processes. Permanent liquid toner, T14 pale ash blonde, 050 cooling violet additive equals perfect beautiful hair. Apply to towel dried hair. Your hair is orange slash pink. Violet it may cool down that, a little bit of the yellow tone, but it's not going to make your hair blonde. Toners don't lighten your hair, except this is a permanent toner. So it could have a 20 or 30 volume developer with it so it could potentially lighten your hair. But that's a story for another day. Oh my god. I don't even have gloves. You know what? Who needs gloves? This is also not gonna even out the tone here. Things are still gonna be really light at the root and really dark at the bottom. The bleach is the thing you need to get even. That is your base for your toner. Your toner just perfects things, but it does not lighten or even situations out. That's false. And what she is currently doing, which is just trying to tone the blonde and just make it a little bit more ash toned. It's not gonna even out the tone, but you can tone your hair to make it more even. My brain cells are just, they're like, please, please work. And it's, they're not. What do I do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, everybody. I dipped my hair in it and now I'm gonna mush it all around. I'm definitely evenly coated, right? It says let it sit for up to 30 minutes. So we're going to do exactly that. We'll be back with this rinsed and dried for the final product. It appears that I've been bamboozled. Um, <laughs> you haven't been bamboozled. You literally used the completely wrong product. Bamboozled would imply something was supposed to work and it didn't. Let me promise you something that it wasn't true and didn't work. And this is not a bamboozle. This is just life. This is just truth. Hey, look at the mirror. Face yourself. Definitely less brassy at the top and wherever it's blonde. But then we can see it goes into aggressive orange brassy red. I think there might be only one solution. I really have to think about it. Do I do it? I have to. It's even. I don't think there's any other option here. We tried to conquer and we failed. Hair dyeing, one, juju, zero. And since I'm defeated, this is the only thing I can make up. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Yo, she gave us theatrics. She's giving us everything. She's gonna cut her hair off. Oh my God, after all that work and now we're just chopping it off. I'm ready for part three, dude. I Okay, now I'm excited again. We're going there. Part four. We are starting a journey to blonde, part three. Did I miss a chapter? When did her hair get this short? I'm happy about it for sure because she needed to chop that hair off. I don't know what we were going to do with all that length and all of those color problems going on at the same time. Like she needed to chop it so we can have some fresh hair to work with, not too much length. This is going to cut down on the amount of sh she has to do and the amount of product she has to use. So let's see what we do and let's see what result we get finally. My objective is to bleach my hair as many times as I can before it falls out. And then hopefully it'll be yellow. And then hopefully the toner will work because it works on only yellow undertones. So we're going to do approximately 75 rounds of bleach and we're gonna start right now. You just need one round of bleach, not 20. And a bunch of foils in a dream. And good sectioning and good even application. I'm just gonna watch it with you at this point. I've said it enough. She's applying to her root again with the mids and ends. And just, the problems just keep tumbling. And still mixing the bleach with purple shampoo, even though it does nothing. And I think we've seen that it does nothing. The next day, and we need more bleach. I'd say it got lighter. A little bit more even. Intriguing. I'm zooming through this. Okay, wow. It's a lot happening here. That is orange. That isn't. Why do we keep bleaching the roots if they're already light? We need to match the ends to the roots now. We're literally lightening a quarter of a shade at a time. Why don't we just do the whole thing at once? 30 f volume and powder lightener. Put it on your hair thick, thick, thickle, thickums. Thickalini. Put a bag on it. Let it sit for an hour. An hour and 20 minutes even. And then you'll have blonde hair. I think we're making some great progress. This is mostly yellow tones now. So I'm gonna do one more round on just the bottom. I have been looking at the comments in part two. They did tell me to use cream developer. I already ordered another bottle of liquid developer, so not happening. The clear watery one, I've never seen anybody mix with bleach. That's more for like toners and colors, Um, not bleach. You know what? A good thing that she is doing is combing and brushing each section thoroughly before she applies the bleach. We finally got a positive thought for me today. It took almost the end of the video, but we did it. This bleach is so thick. I hate it. It's supposed to be thick. This was a chunky piece. Probably shouldn't have done that. Nope. I can't even tell if this is wet or dry. We're gonna wait like 30 minutes. Round eight of bleaching. Let's see the results. I think we need one more round of bleach. There's still orange on the ends, but it's getting a lot lighter. It's more yellow in person. We're gonna be so speedy. Also, my roots are coming in. It's been like four days. I already made the bleach. I really never want to have to bleach my hair again. Wow, yummy. You should only need like two, not seven. I have bleached my hair approximately seven times in the past couple months. I'm terrified. I'm so scared. It definitely is more yellow in the mirror. Why is it still not blonde? I do have an applicator bottle. This is not for hair. This is leftover from when I got my wisdom teeth removed and they gave me a syringe to squirt the food out of my gums. Shut the f up. Were you saying a syringe? What? From your wisdom teeth removal? <laughs> what? Here she is. I'm actually gonna have a baby or something. Okay, I figured it out. She's using T14, which might be enough to cancel out what's going on here. We'll see. We're toning, we're toning, we're toning. Brad is sick of this. I don't wanna watch this anymore. I am over it. I am exhausted from seeing all of this happen. I just want her hair to look okay. I don't know anymore. <laughs> cheered. It's flawed. This is an emotional moment. I never thought we would get here. I cooked. When did she cut bangs? Oh my god. She said she cooked. I would say she chewed. She didn't really eat and she didn't devour. You know, it's not a bad look. It needs some evenness. It's yellow on the ends, a little orangey. There's a lot of different tones going on. The bangs, I would like them a little thicker. I did cut bangs. I have not quite figured out how to style them. We have reached the end of my journey to blonde. One thing I do know is I am never ever putting permanent black box dye on my hair again. We're done. We made it through, you guys. That was crazy. 
crazy. And yes, she did get to a blonde color. I think she looks awesome. Is it so much better than what she started with? Yes. I like this ending color way better than the beginning color. Do you guys agree? Like, please agree with me down below. The blonde looks a lot better than that black blue situation going on when we started. Things have gotten a lot better. The journey we, we took to get here was a disaster. Don't recommend it for anybody. And next time, just look up a few videos on how to do this. Cause I swear you can do this so, so much easier. And hopefully I helped you for next time. Cause I know there will be a next time, but hopefully I've given you enough input as to what you did wrong this time to get it right next time. Let me know what you rate Juju's <laughs> before and after. One through five. Five being the best outcome and it looking great. And tell me why. And make sure to shop my super gloss intensive glossing treatments with the links right down below. They are brand new and they are incredible. And we're adding countries all the time to X Mondo Hair, so make sure you check out if your country is listed below and you can finally shop for X Mondo Hair. This week's viewer shout out goes to Monica. This is beautiful Monica. And she says, I have regular bangs with my natural hair color and green mixed in. And I was curious if you think I should cut my hair shorter or would a butterfly cut or something similar look better with my hair color or hair type? I would literally love if you did a wolf cut. Like, I just feel like you have such a fierce style. You are so freaking cute. I love your hair color. I'm digging this two-tone moment going on, but I think you need to add some layering in your hair and really shake things up. Add some movement, add some texture. I think it'll really complement your face shape and just give you that blah blah boom, that cool girl look that we all love. And I like the blue poking out and the brown on top. It's very original and very chic. And if you would like personalized hair advice from me, all you gotta do is follow me on Instagram. Comment down below with your question and add your Instagram handle so I can see a picture of you and you may be featured in one of my next videos. Comment as many times as you want. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.